Okay, so we're back. So remember the rest of that box that we used? I hope you didn't throw it away. Um, we're going to cut for our racks. We're going to cut a one and a half inch strip. We need two of them. The length of the box. So just open your box all the way up and cut one and two one and a half inch strips. And then what we're going to do is this naturally folded here. So we're going to cut that little bit off. I apologize that it took so long on the uh, covering the body, but I'm doing this with you all. I've, I've never made one of these before, so um, I'm doing it with you. So bear with me, please. Uh, okay, I've already done the first rack, so maybe I won't stumble as bad doing this. So we're going to use one of our receiving blankets and just put some double-sided tape on our rack, the cardboard. And then fold it over and I'm starting about in the middle. Try to keep it straight. So there we go. And then just roll. Double-sided tape on. Hoping to finish this up in this video, so this will be the last one. Um. Okay, and then let's just fold this over this over, okay. and then it will have a natural fold in it from where the, where the box came together like that, so you don't even have to worry about it. So it's a no-brainer. So um, here is the uh, first one that I did, and I added one of those little um, teething toys to the rack as a rear view mirror, rear view mirror, sort of. Um, or like a fuzzy dice or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that was just a, one of those teething rings that I had. So let me pull the, uh, car back over and I'll show you how I did this little rear view mirror in a minute. Let's go ahead and put our racks on. So I'm just going to, I guess I could use some double sided tape here. Just on <clears throat> my ends, I added some double-sided tape here and here, just for a little bit of more, more stability. Let's pull these out and do it like... Hmm. I had it just tucked in there earlier. And it was staying, but when you travel with it, I it would come loose, so hopefully I'm still in frame here. Let's just put that on either side of that, and then pull our Jeep over to that side in, and then that side. You see that? So 
there's one rack. Yeah, let's do the same for the second one. They're not racks, they're roll bars. Yeah, they're called roll bars. Oh boy, for all you Jeep lovers out there, you're probably laughing. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tuck that back in to where it's nice and tight. our second rack. Then let's put our little furry friend back. Oh, so we need bucket seats. So again, this was one of the flaps that was on the box. So what I'm going to do is um, just put some double-sided tape on here. This was one of the washcloths. So, let's put our bucket seats on. Let's see. So, take two diapers and then just lay those over. Like so. There's our bucket seats. Now, let's get those in here and I think I did this earlier just kind of hurry up I believe that those will just tuck nicely in here right behind the baby wipes see can you see that that's what it looks like in the back and then the front. So there's your bucket seats. Then let's put our little friend in. Let's say, no, we can't put our friend in there yet. Uh, we need to make the little mirrors, side mirrors. So the mittens, the baby mittens that I had, I took one of those and then one of the long um, pipe fillers or pipe cleaners, pipe fillers. Good grief and um, did it to where it was about the size of the mitten, made a little circle, and then twist the bottom part, or just wrap it around, or whatever you want to do, just to where it will give it a little bit of stability. And then, of course, one's going to be longer than the other. Just fold this one, or twist it back up. Just again for a little bit of stability. And then we're going to place the open end into the baby mitten. And we're going to use that wire to help form and keep the baby mitten open like that. See? Okay. Then what we're going to do is, well, let me see if I'm in frame. Okay, we're going to take and twist this back, and you'll have to move your bib over just a little bit, and we're going to tuck this pipe, uh, pipe cleaner, and there's a, a hollow place there where you had your top headlight, in the box 
and you're just going to poke your pipe cleaner in that area. And then just your baby bib will come back down and cover it like so. Can you see that? Hopefully, throw right here on this side. Okay, so there are our mirrors. Now, what, we, what am I going to show you? Uh, I need to see if that's... Okay, the next thing that we need to do is let's make a <clears throat> front bumper. So let's take another baby washcloth and another one of our pipe cleaners and start at one side and just start rolling it. This will be our front bumper. And then use a little bit of double-sided tape. Whoops. Roll, roll, roll. There we go. So we'll have that. Oh, I like the looks of that way. Other than that way. Yeah, I like the looks of that. Okay, so we'll just sit down here. That's where I can get it in here. Um, take and bend your pipe cleaner back on either side. And we're going to tuck it. underneath the um, bottom fog light. And same thing on the other side. Just tuck it there in the bottom, underneath the floodlight. And just work with it a little bit to get it to do what you're wanting it to do. There we go. So yours should look something like that as your front bumper. Now, uh, we're going to put um, to accessorize it, we're just going to put and you all can do anything that you want to do. But these are uh, just glue dots. They won't hurt the diapers. They'll come off the diapers. Um, but I'm just going to use them to hopefully attach attach these little candles that I found. They're nice and sticky, but it's 
So, J, A, you see, J, A, oh, I hope I left myself enough room. And you know, the baby's name just happened to be a four letter word that started with a J, but you could always um, use stickers and write Jeep on there or another name or just whatever you want to do. This is just what I thought of. And you know there's there are plenty of other videos on on YouTube that um, show how to make diaper things. This is just this is just my version. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not going to have enough room to move that over a little bit. And that over a little bit. Let's see. Huh. It could be Jack. know of many mothers that name their children Jack anymore. That's a that's an old old name. Not a bad name, by the way. I'm not offending anyone. Just you don't hear many people naming their babies Jack. Okay, so there we go. There that is. Now, what else do we need to do to finish it up? Okay, so I was going to show you one change that I made. I wasn't crazy about that uh, that other ribbon that I had on here, the peach colored one with the anchor, so I changed that uh, earlier and then you're going to need a platform so I just used another box that's flattened and covered it with a receiving blanket and taped it on the back side or on the underside with just some shipping tape so you'll have that now and then let's go ahead and put uh, let's go ahead and put our Everything together. So, use a little bit of tape here. Try to have a little something to adhere to. You'll find out that these are heavier than you realize, but um, you don't want it like rolling off. the wheels coming off so easily leave it on the platform what would look really neat is if you had like a, had camo for your Jeep and then had like tan or something or grass or green receiving blanket. My mind's just going crazy now. You know what? I may yeah, I need to do that on the bottom too. Ooh. I know that this won't stay permanently but um, to my base but maybe it'll give it a see it won't it won't stay permanently no 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 it won't 